you're doing well. If you're watching this review right now, you might be uh, doing a bit of research on this product right here. It's called Stealth, okay? So I'm going to do a uh, review on Stealth, and then after this review, you can decide whether you know you want to purchase it for yourself. Completely up to you, all right? So this is the Stealth website. Um, I always like to review webs uh, the, the actual sales page to see what it looks like, um, to see if it you know pulls any red flags or not. This one is interesting, okay? Um, and this is a product from uh, Brendan Mace and from Jono Armstrong. Um, these guys are serial product guys. I mean, they've created more than 100 products. They're just constantly coming up with products. And that's why every time I review one of their products, I always look at it from a specific lens because um, some of their stuff is okay, but a lot of it is, you know, they basically look for angles to try and entice you to buy their stuff, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It's just whether or not the strategies are effective, okay? So this one's interesting because, look, it says it has nothing to do with email marketing. It has nothing to do with list building or solo ads, okay? The reason why they, they have that up there is because they know that people don't really like building um, email lists and things like that, right? So turn emails into passive income without a list, without an autoresponder, without monthly fees. So again, trying to use this specific angle to entice you uh, to get interested in their product, okay? So how is that possible? Because that sounds um, completely off, right? Turn your emails into passive income, but actually you don't need a list. Well, basically what they're talking about is they're talking about Gmail marketing, okay? So doing paid ads using Gmail. So I'll give you an idea. If I come into my Gmail account here, if you come into social, you can see these two ads kind of pop up in your Gmail account or under promotions. You'll see these two ads, right? And there's not a lot of space, honestly. There's only space for two ads at a time. It's completely random. Um, you know, again, so that's basically what the, that's what they're talking about by turning your emails into passive income. So they're teaching you to drive paid ads using Google AdWords, but the ads show up in your Gmail account, okay? And they drive the ads directly to a bonus page, and then the bonus page leads directly to um, your product sales page, and when people buy the products that you recommend, which are affiliate products, then you make a commission, right? So what you have to do is, this pr product teaches you how to create Gmail ads, um, shows you how to create a, a Google AdWords account, do Gmail ads, create a bonus page, pick affiliate products and then kind of sell, send it that way. They don't teach you how to collect emails, they don't teach you how to build a relationship with your list, they don't teach you how to become an authority, nothing like that. It's just straight from the ad to the bonus page to your affiliate sales page and then you generate a commission, right? Now in theory, this might work. The problem is is that it's untested, you know, and, and, there, and there's a couple of things. Now, you know, Again, so, so so we'll talk about that a little bit. So the product is $12.95, okay? Very, very cheap product. Um, a lot of their products start cheap and then they've got a lot of upsells, upsells, you know, they add up to about $800, okay? So that's where they make a lot of their money, right? That's how the sales funnels work. Uh, low entry product at the front, they do a lot of upsells in the back and, and that's where they make most of their money. Um, and basically what they talk about is about, you know, making, building a successful business without an email list, without an autoresponder, and without softwares, okay? So they're trying to take a different angle because in some of their other products, you know, they, they, they talk about how, you know, you need to build a list and that kind of stuff. And, and honestly, like, I think that with this strategy, if the Gmail marketing works, and that is, again, you know, questionable because the thing is, if you look at the Gmail area, right, the ads, there's only two ads per page. So you're not able to advertise that much. I don't think that you can get that many clicks, okay? Now, of course, a lot of people use Gmail accounts, but it's, it's so untargeted, right? Um, I mean, look, uh, look at this ad. It's a Dutch lady ad, you know? And, and there's a Malaysian Airlines ad here. So how do they even know to target me for that particular thing? They don't know what my interests are on Gmail, right? Um, I'm not interested in Dutch lady products, so why are they advertising to me there, right? Um, ah, okay. So, and then there's like a signed Derby property thing. Okay, they're, they're, probably, they're, they're probably targeting you via the interests that, that you have online uh, or the websites that you visited in the past, okay? But again, it's very, very small and the chances that you're gonna click on this are pretty low. So I don't know how much traffic you can really drive from Gmail, okay? So it's, it's an interesting thing because there's very, very few people that are teaching this, honestly. So it's interesting, but whether or not it's effective or not, whether you can drive enough volume of clicks is questionable, okay? So we can try it out. I mean, $12.95 12 to try out that strategy, okay, may, might, 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 might be okay. The problem that I have though is that they don't teach you to build an email list and 
I know that that might seem like a drag, but the truth is, is that if you want to be successful online, you have to build an email list. You have to have that asset. You have to be able to follow up with your with your customers. Otherwise, all you're doing is you're wasting ad revenue on driving your leads to this particular ad. If there's no way for you to capture this ad here, for me, that, that's a big, big no-no because people aren't gonna buy from you just because you create a bonus page. So that's what they, they, they teach you how to do in this training. They teach you how to move someone from a, from a paid ad to a bonus page and then the bonus page is supposed to entice them to buy the end product, right? But here's the problem with bonus pages, okay? Bonus pages work, don't get me wrong, but if they're used in the wrong way, they don't work at all because just because somebody lands on a bonus page doesn't necessarily mean that that's gonna entice them enough to buy the product on the back end, right? Because if they don't know who you are, then a bonus page is pretty useless, to be honest, right? They, they need to know who the marketer is first, and then they need to know what the product is, and then when they understand what the product is, on top of that, you, you get the bonus, then it makes sense for them to be like, ah, that's interesting, I now wanna buy the product because I know what it is and I've got the bonus. But if they don't know who you are, they, they don't have a relationship with you, then the bonus on its own just doesn't really mean anything, okay? Now, does that mean that you can't generate sales using this method? Not necessarily. You might be able to, to create some sales using this method, but I don't know if you're gonna be able to create the kind of sales that they're talking about here, right? So no list, list building, no solo ads, no email marketing. You know, no solo ads is great because solo ads suck anyway, right? Uh, but I think list building is essential to any, to any business online, and email marketing is also essential to any business online. Because if you don't do email marketing, number one, you don't give yourself a chance to build a relationship with your potential customer. Number two, people very, very rarely buy the first time they see something. Now, some people buy, the hyper-responsive uh, buyers do that, but that means that with this strategy, you have to constantly find hyper-responsive buyers that will buy on the first instance that they see your bonus and your offer. Otherwise, you completely miss the chance to get them to buy again because you don't have any way to follow up with them because they don't teach you how to build an email list. So I think that, you know, in terms of fundamental marketing, right, which is something that you need to learn in order to be successful, I think that they're missing a trick, honestly. And, and um, you know, I think that you can, you can generate a couple of sales here, right, with this strategy, but in order for you to be very profitable for the long run and to build a, you know, a long-term business, not a short-term business, right? We're talking about something that's gonna be here in t 10, 20, 30 years time. I don't think that this strategy is gonna work because they're ignoring the fundamentals of marketing that, that, have, that, have, that, have stood, that stands the test of time, which is basically collecting people's email addresses, building a relationship with them, um, getting them to know, like, and trust you. They can't know, like, and trust you from just a bonus page, okay? One, one point of contact is not enough contact for them to, for, for customers who are on the internet. I mean, these are people that are looking at offers all day, every day, right? It's not enough for them to trust you to finally feel good about buying a product from you, okay? So again, just to qualify, I think that you can make short-term money with this, but again, long-term, big profits, I don't think that, that this this strategy is gonna work, okay? So that's that's my review on it. It's interesting, um, and you know you, may, you might wanna invest $12 to learn the, the Gmail strategy where you post these Gmail ads, but I think the overall strategy is, is not gonna be super profitable at all, okay? Um, now, there, there are a whole bunch of upsells as well, guys, okay? So $12.95 is just the entry product, right? Um, but they have four upsells, 197, they teach you how to build an email list. So completely contradictory to what they're talking about here, right? So here they're talking about you don't need an email list to make money, but their first upsell, which is $197, they teach you how to build an email list. So you can already tell that if they're using that as an upsell, then building an email list is important. And I know it's important because I've been building businesses online now for 10 years, okay? You need an email list, you can't ignore that, right? Second upsell is $197, again, they're gonna give you a high ticket sales funnel. Now, um, there are lots of high ticket sales funnels out there where you can become an affiliate for free, you don't have to pay $197 dollars to get access to one, okay? Then the third upsell is an over-the-shoulder training, $397, where they'll get one of their staff to help you with this strategy. That's not bad, okay? That, that, that's a pretty good upsell. And then the fourth upsell is a $97 upsell where you get secrets from two super affiliates. They don't tell you what the secrets are, they're just secrets, so I think you can check it out as well, right? So again, a couple of upsells are okay, you know, 
I think I think out of all of these, one of them is okay. Um, teaching you to build an email list, you know, that's important anyway. It should be in the product, but they've decided to completely separate it because their angle is for you to not build an email list. So again, a little bit contradictory, all right? So good and bad things with this product. I think the, the Google Gmail ads idea is a good idea. Not many people are talking about that at all. Whether you can really generate a lot of leads from it is questionable, but this strategy doesn't teach you to generate leads at all. They just teach you to drive your, your, your uh, clicks to a bonus page in the hopes that they will buy the first time. If they don't buy, I'm sorry, but you've missed your opportunity to create a sale there because you haven't captured any information of that potential customer at all because that's not their strategy here, right? So again, I think that it's a little bit gimmicky. You know, they're using the, this strategy to try and entice you to buy the product. Um, I think it doesn't follow marketing fundamentals at all, um, which can be a problem. You know, when, when I was building my, my business for the first um, eight years, because I was ignoring a lot of the marketing fundamentals, I wasn't getting the results that I was getting, okay? So eight years of failure, right? Um, and then it took me, well, 10 years uh, I've been you know building businesses online and it was only the last two years when I finally you know, stopped using these sort of like gimmicky stuff, push button stuff, you know, uh, all these little weird gigs here and there. And I focus on marketing fundamentals, real marketing fundamentals, like learning to drive my own traffic, not through solo ads, because solo ads suck, okay? Not through solo ads, collecting email addresses, building an email list, following up with them, learning how to become an authority, learning how to bring value to my list, recommending them good products, and that, my friends, is marketing fundamentals, okay? Now, if you ignore that, I don't think that you're gonna have a lot of success. You're just gonna get confused because all this kind of stuff is really gimmicky, okay? Um, but when I finally learned how to do that, created a six-figure business, um, regularly making more than $500 in sales in my business, and I teach people all over the world how to do exactly the same thing, okay? So I think that, you know, for $12.95, if you wanna learn the Gmail paid ads part is great. Everything else, probably not so good, okay? So if you wanna learn marketing fundamentals, how to do it properly, um, then you can uh, have a look at what I'm doing. If you want, you can click the link right below in, in the description box, okay? Uh, enter your best email address on the next page and I'll send you a video that will show you exactly how I did it, how I went from eight years of struggle because I was doing a lot of this sort of gimmicky stuff to finally learning the real online marketing fundamentals, how to really you know, build a relationship with people through the internet, how to get people to know, like, and trust you, how to recommend great products so that people will actually want to physically buy stuff from you through the internet, right? It's possible, but you have to, you have to be willing to learn the fundamentals. Look, if you're not willing to learn how to build an email list, then don't do internet marketing, <laughs> honestly. You know, that's my recommendation. If you're not willing to learn how to find good products, if you're not willing to learn how to build an email list, if you're not willing to learn how to generate traffic, then don't do internet marketing at all because these are all the fundamental things that you have to learn. They're not, they're not optional, guys. They are mandatory. You have to learn how to do this stuff. Otherwise, you will never be profitable inside of your business, okay? And you have to be careful whenever people create products because they use different angles to try and take shortcuts, but it's the shortcuts that will keep you in a hamster wheel and you're never really gonna get results from that because they're kind of like, you know, they're fatty. You know, they don't really work. They're just fatty stuff. They don't focus on the core stuff that unfortunately is not sexy, but is what you really need to learn in order for you to be profitable. I hope that makes sense, okay? So, um, okay, $12.95 for, for that front end part, but otherwise, um, I don't think that you're, 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 not, you're gonna get the results that they talk about inside of this sales page, okay? But if you wanna learn marketing fundamentals, you wanna see how I was finally able to go full-time in April 2019, then you can click the link right below. Um, check it out for yourself, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this review today. Aaron Chen signing out. I hope we speak soon.